hello hello my beautiful ones I hope you're having a good day thank you so much for watching uh, if you've never seen me before welcome my name is Cindy I am the modern day spiritual advisor I use multiple modalities including tarot to help you on your path so uh, some people ask what are my modalities so, um, so I'm a medium I have been all my life um, and my purpose my my work is to bring the spiritual the science and the metaphysics together to help you on your path to help you understand about these energies this world um, you know the laws of the universe and other realms as well so um, I by trade I'm a hypnotherapist I'm a psychic medium uh, of course I do tarot reading astrology that I do many things so spiritual advising is what you could call me I guess so anyway thank you so much for watching so if you've never seen me before it works like this I'm going to go into the general energies I'm going to translate what spirit is saying and then I translate some of what I see in your energy uh, they want to remind you it is always up to you whether you want to accept and allow or deny these energies it's kind of up to you and your path as to the timeline um, I've taken the timeline off so spirit knows when you're going to watch this uh, each and every one of you yes they know each and every one of you we're all part of the one so they kind of know when you're going to see this so when you see it is when you're when you were to see this when you, this would help you on your path um, yeah like that oh and another question people have is like what sign is this for <laughs> this is the general energy this is all signs um, these are the bigger energies that I'm going into and I'm seeing that's why you'll see me pause sometimes or hear me pause you can't see me that's why you can hear me pause sometimes because when I go into that energy I'm seeing like all these possibilities and I'm have to spirit that's where spirit and my guides help me narrow it down so um, I also go I go into the love energy and love to me is that vibration or energy that moves sorry it's the energy that moves through all vibrations so where has your focus been where has your love been it doesn't just have to be in one thing it could be in your money your life purpose your loved one your romance your yourself your work your family wherever your love is this is where it, what I could be talking about so here we go so your first position is uh, the knight of coins so this is a beautiful beautiful night I love this night so this is you this is your position now the night always comes with offerings so today many of you will be receiving an offering um, and this offering is very stable solid practical and like grounding it will form into that that you've been directing it towards like this can change some of your lives like some of you have been waiting for this thing that's what I'm feeling um, it's taken a while because as the coins they take their time the Pentacles or the coins takes their time but that's because when they make a move they mean it right so they're not just gonna willy-nilly make a move they're gonna if something comes to you today that's an offering it could be money because it's a coins uh, so it could be money it could be finances it could be uh, financial help in this project or this thing that you're doing or working on um, whatever this is this can change your life I feel like that for a lot of you this is that thing that you've been waiting for for some of you not a, not a lot of you but, <clears throat> but some of you I feel like this is that thing that you've been waiting for like maybe you've had talks about this and maybe you kind of knew it was coming but this today is when I feel like it actually comes okay <clears throat> so but whatever this offering is and whatever action you take can can ground it and make it more stable and bring that thing to fruition for you okay so their advice is and this is interesting because the Pentacles or the coins are earth signs right so they're uh, Virgo Capricorn or um, Virgo Capricorn or Taurus sorry so what can happen is because they're so stable and because they're so methodical they don't like change and that's what I feel like part of your thought process or your feeling can be that is like when this offering comes as much as you wanted it as surprised as you are or as excited of the reality of it is for you the tower happens and it shifts your energy it shifts your reality it shifts your plane right so your world is no longer what it used to be it's now this that you've been focusing on it, you know what I feel like I feel like 
you know, when you you have something in mind that you're going to do and you're like, yeah, I can do that. I know how to do that. I'm going to do that. And, and then when that thing actually comes, you're like, ooh, I got to do that, <laughs> right? Like you, you take a step back and you're like, oh, wait, but can I do that? Am I able to do that? Can I really do I know I've been talking a lot of mess, but can I really do it? That's kind of the feeling I'm getting. So that's their advice with the tower is that there are some things that have to shift in your life for this new reality, for this world that you're trying to create, for this stability, for this lifestyle, for this love, for this thing that you're trying to do, right? And so it can't be like it was before because that's, an, that's another vibration. That's another frequency, right? You're going to be in this frequency where there's like a shift. So some people may have to go. Some people may have to come in. Like it's a shift for you. So the tower to me is those things that aren't built on a solid foundation must come crumbling down. So understand whatever needs to change and is going to change with this offer, it's needed for that vibration that you're going to, that energy that you're going to. So they're saying you can do this and understand that the 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 um, excitement or the reality of it all or the loss of something maybe or the change in something maybe just go with the flow and understand that it's all part of the process because where you go is the two of swords right <clears throat> this is why they're having me say this because the two of swords is about i'm ready to move i'm ready to go i can do this action i can make this decision i can you know do what needs to be done but i'm kind of waiting because i feel like should i go this way should i go this way and what they're saying with this card is you have all the answers within you learn to trust yourself remember what you said before this reality this this became your reality remember that you said this is what i want and now that that thing is happening stand in it stand in your truth be be solid and um and back up what you're saying because you're trying to get to this new place right so they're saying even though because i'm feeling it with a shift you're like oh i don't know should i can i what if i make a mistake you're going to make mistakes we all make mistakes right it's in the making mm -hmm. mistakes that we become the mm -hmm. masters right mm -hmm. so understand that um when this happens and you're feeling a little off or you're feeling a little frightened, trust yourself, trust your guides, trust, trust in the fact that you're making this new reality and you do have the answer within you, right? You do have the answer to, to go to the place that you're trying to go to have the project or the money or the stability or the love of your life or any of that. Trust in yourself that you are creating that world and it's part of the process. All right, my gorgeous ones. I hope I helped. I love you, love you, love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you see when I come on live, okay? Bye.